47 Veilek Section 1 Moses Aaron and Miriam Rabbi Shizkia talks about God's desire for Israel and his special treatment of them. We learned that Moses Aaron and Miriam had higher gifts and that Aaron was the right arm of Moses during Moses' lifetime. Israel ate manna or heavenly bread, but as soon as Joshua took over, the manna ceased to fall and the people reverted to eating the bread of the land. One and Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel, Devarim 311 Rabbi. Shizkia opened with the verse that caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses, dividing the water before them. Yeshua 6312 Blessed are Israel that the Holy One blessed be he favored them since he favored them. He called them holy firstborn sons and brethren. He so to speak went down to dwell with them. This is the meaning of and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Shema 258 And he wished to establish them in the likeness of above and he caused the seven. Clouds of glory to rest over them and his Chechena goes before them as it is written and Hashem went before them by day Shemot 1321 two three holy siblings went among them they are Moses Aaron and Miriam it is for their merit that the Holy One blessed be he gave them supernal gifts throughout Aaron's days the clouds of glory did not move away from Israel we have established that Aaron is the right arm of Israel as written the Canaanite the king of Arad heard tell that Israel came by the way of Adharim Bimidbar 211 the way of Adharim means that Israel were like a man walking without an arm supporting himself in each and every place as Adharim means places then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners if this happened because they were without the right arm come and see Aaron was the right arm of the body which is Tiferet hence it is written that caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses which is that it is Aaron the right arm of Tiferet. 3 He asks what is meant by went in and Moses went whither did he go and he answers what means he went like an armless body as in and they are gone without strength before the pursuer each is 16 because Aaron the right arm died and the body which is Moses wanted to go away because of IT4 throughout Moses life Israel ate bread from heaven when Joshua came it is written and the manna ceased on the morrow Yahashua 512 and they did eat of the corn of the land on the morrow after. The Passover of 11 what is the difference between them the manna and the corn of the land it is that the manna is from above heaven which is Zeir and while that the bread of the land is from below from Malchut called land as long as Moses was alive the body of the sun which is Zeir and ruled and shown on the world once Moses departed the body of the sun was gone and the body of the moon came out which is Malchut the aspect of Joshua thus the bread from heaven stopped and they ate of it. Corn of the land which is Malchut section 2 Moses is the rule of the sun Joshua of the moon Rabbi Shizkiah tells us how the people were led by the sun itself Zer and Ben during Moses' lifetime but after his death they were led by the moon Malchut as the moon was the aspect of Joshua next the topic turns to the difficulty of matching people with those who are the other half of their spirits since sometimes they are not incarnated at the same time if a husband who is not a woman's true counterpart has behaved immorally he is gathered up so that the counterpart can come and marry her Rabbi Eliezer wonders why the man has to die and why they cannot just separate the answer is that the death saves the man from seeing his wife belong to another this is compared to Saul's kingship which happened because David's time for kingship had not yet come when David was ready Saul was gathered up for his iniquity so that he would not have to see his servant ruling over. And this is also why Moses died when the rule of the moon Joshua arrived the moon could not rule as long as the sun was around the question is asked why when Moses was about to die many instructions were given by God to him rather than to Joshua we learned that even after Moses departure he would still exist to illuminate God's messages for Joshua just as the sun in hiding illuminates the moon 5 it is written if your presence go not with me carry us not up from here for in what shall it be? Known Shema 3315 to 16 we have learned that when the Holy One blessed be he said to Moses behold my angel to walk before you Moses said and why is it that the guidance of the sun shall be gathered which is the guidance of Zeir and the moon shall guide I do not want the body of the moon the guidance of Malchut called an angel and he said to Zeir and if your presence go not with me carry us not up from here I want neither the body of the sun which is Zeir and nor the moon which is. Malchut then the body of the sun shone and Moses became as the body of the sun before Israel when Moses was gathered the sun was gathered and the moon shone which is Joshua ministering to the light of the moon woe to that James 6 and he said to them I am 120 years old Devarim 312 it is as Rabbi Lazar said that the sun shone on Israel for 40 years and was gathered at the end of 40 years and then the moon shone he therefore said I can no more go out and come in. If it because the time has come for the moon to rule which is the aspect of Joshua Rabbi Shimon said surely it is thus as written but sometimes ruin comes for want of judgment Mishlei 1323 which the friends have already explained and we shall expound on this verse but in relation to what the friends have said everything is needed in the world for the good of man who will be gone before his time that is that he is ruined without judgment as shall be explained 7 come and see we learned that. All spirits that emerge from above come out male and female and separate when they come into the world to be clothed in bodies at times the female soul will emerge into the world before the soul of the male has come out who is her mate whenever it is not the time of the man to join his woman and another came who is not her mate and married her then when his her soul mate's time comes to unite with her righteousness which is the attribute of judgment is awakened in the world to punish for the iniquities of the world it gathers that man who married her that is it takes his soul so he dies and the other comes who is her mate and marries her this is why matching couples is difficult for the holy one blessed be he like the splitting of the red sea this is true if the man who is not her mate sinned in his actions that he is taken out of the world when the time has come for her mate to marry her even if he did not sin much to be sentenced to death nevertheless he dies then before his time comes to die and it is not done so according to judgment of him it is written but sometimes ruin comes for want of judgment the judgments of righteousness which is malchut of the attribute of judgment contact him because of his sins because the time of the other her mate has come to marry her because she is his even though according to judgment he does not deserve death nine rabbi Lazar said to him and why does he die let the holy one blessed be he separate them from each other and let him who is her mate come and marry her he said to him it is for the good of man and he does kindly by him so he will not see his wife under someone else's authority come and see if he her mate is not a fitting deeds then even if the woman is his nevertheless the other is not rejected who is not her mate from before him ten come and seeking Saul took the kingship because although the kingship was David's the time of David had not come yet for it therefore when David's time had come to inherit his own righteousness awoke and gathered Saul in his sins and he was pushed aside before David and David came and took what was his eleven why did the Holy One blessed be he not take away the kingship from Saul to give it to David so he would not have to die and he answers the Holy One blessed be he did kindness with him by gathering his soul while he was still reigning so he would not see his servant ruling over him and taking what had been his it is so that he married his neighbor's mate and the time has come for his neighbor to marry her he gathers his soul and then marries the woman to her mate so he will not see his wife in another authority this is why man has to beg for mercy from the Holy One blessed be he when he marries that he will not be pushed aside before another twelve it is written and Hashem said to me let it suffice you speak no more to me of this matter Devarim 326 we explained that the Holy One blessed be he said to Moses Moses you want it world to change have you ever seen in your days that the sun will serve the moon have you ever seen in your days that the moon will rule while the sun is present but behold your days approach that you must die call joshua devarim 3114 let the sun be gathered and the moon rain moreover if you enter the land the moon shall be gathered for you and will not be able to rule surely the dominion of the moon is come which is joshua but it cannot rule as long as you are in the world 13 call joshua and present yourselves in the tent of meeting that i may give him a charge of it what about his words behold you shall sleep with your fathers and this people will rise up if it 16 we never found the holy one blessed be he giving charge to joshua but to moses as he said all that to moses is written and will forsake me and break my covenant and my anger will burn against them on that day of it 16 to 17 now therefore write this poem for yourselves and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths. Ibid 19. All this was said to Moses in that case. What is meant by that? I may give him a charge, seeing that he charged him with nothing. 14. And he answers the
Those people who pay no attention to the glory of God and who have no interest in becoming holy, he says that Malchut is ready and available to praise God after midnight every night prior to that the wicked prosecutors go about in the world to harm people, but from midnight onward their power is removed. We hear that if people are sanctified in their own union, they also inspire a spiritual sanctity above assisting in the union of God and his Chechenai. If they do not, there are flaws both above and below, and the children born of the union are deceitful. Rabbi Shimon tells us about the time that Israel entered the Holy Land with the Ark of the Covenant traveling before them and the songs of praise and joy that were sung. He says how unfortunate it is that Israel were destined later to treacherously betray God and become uprooted from their land. They would have to be cleansed of their iniquities in a foreign land. 16 Rabbi Shimon opened with from the uttermost part of the earth have we. Heard songs glory to the righteous, but I said, My leanness, my leanness, woe to me, traitors have dealt treacherously. Yeshua 2416, woe to people that they do not care and are not occupied with the glory of their master, nor do they behold the supernal holiness to be sanctified in this world so as to be holy in the world to come. The uttermost part of the earth refers to the supernal covering, namely Malchut. We heard songs as in who give songs in the night. Yo 3510, that is the songs and praises of the congregation of Israel. Malchut before the Holy One, blessed be he who is CEIR and at night in the night means when she is ready and present to praise the Holy One, blessed be he and takes pleasure in the righteous in the garden of Eden. 17 When I ask you ready to praise the Holy One, blessed be he it is from midnight onward, then we heard songs, namely praises, songs, Hebzamirat means as in nor prune have more, Vayikra 254, and also so the song of the tyrant shall be. Brought low Yeshayah 255 which refers to pulling out all the tyrants from their places for when the night comes many tyrannical litigants are present in the world walking and roaming the world to bring accusations from midnight onward a spirit is roused which pulls them all from their places and removes them so they shall not have power we heard songs refers to the praises of the congregation of Israel to the Holy One blessed be he at night what is the reason for all that it is glory to the righteous which means Malchut which is to unite in a single union with the Holy One blessed be he and be sanctified with him in the same holiness glory is derived from desire while the righteous is yes at 18 but I said my leanness my leanness woe to me my leanness have rezi is a supernal mystery because rez means a secret the second secret is to draw a holy spirit that is the union of the Holy One blessed be he with his chechen at midnight is a supernal mystery of people below are then sanctified in their mating and meditate on it they draw a holy spirit but woe to me for the generation and for the world traitors have dealt treacherously for they are all false to him that is they deny the supernal providence they are false to themselves by not sanctifying themselves during mating not only are they false to themselves but the children they beget would be false because of their falsity during mating which was without supernal holiness and they are blemished above and below 19 when isaiah saw this he gathered all those who fear sin and taught them the holy way of being sanctified with the holiness of the king during mating so their children would be holy once they were sanctified the children they begot were named after him this is the meaning of behold i and the children whom hashem has given me are for signs and for portents in israel Yishai 818 which means they are separated from the other nations 20 another explanation for from it uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs is that when Israel entered the land with the holy ark of the covenant before them Israel heard from one side in the land praises and joy and the voice of lofty singers that sing in the land and glory to the righteous as the praises at that time were directed to Moses since glory is a word of praise and glorification and the righteous is Moses wherever the ark dwelt in the land they would hear a voice saying and this is the Torah which Moses set before the children of Israel Devarim 444 but woe to me traitors have dealt treacherously since Israel will betray the holy one blessed be he and be pulled out of the land once since falsehood has taken hold in their midst they shall be torn out a second time from the land until their iniquities shall be made good in another land section for there are three who testify Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Yitzhak discuss the witnesses that bear testimony about Israel and we learn that they are the well of Isaac the lottery the stone that Joshua placed and the song of praise that God taught Moses just before his death 21 take this book of the Torah and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 3126 he was asked why he said Hashem your Elohim rather than Hashem our Elohim and he answers we have explained this in several places the reason for the names your plural Elohim your sing Elohim our Elohim 22 as Rabbi Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yehuda what is the meaning of for the place on which you do stand is holy ground Shema 35 it is surely holy ground namely the land of the living which is Malchut on which you do stand surely it is on it that is in the beginning and all the more so later we learn that Rabbi Yossi said it is written that it may be therefore a witness against you Devarim 3126 a witness surely to give testimony 23 there are three who testify they are Isaac's well -bit. Lot and the stone which Joshua placed and this poem more than all as it says that this poem may be a witness for me. But 19 Rabbi Yitzhak said in that case there are four he said to him surely this is so but no testifying is mentioned in relation to the lot 24 whence do we know about Isaac's well from the verse that they may be a witness to me. Bear she 2130 about the lot from the words according to the lot shall their inheritance be divided. Bimidbar 2656 which used to say this is to Judah and this is to Benjamin and so on hence it said according to live by the mouth of the lot which means the lot spoke as for Joshua's stone it is written behold this stone shall be a witness to us. Yahashua 2427 and your it is written that it may be therefore a witness against you and that this poem shall testify against them as a witness to Barim 3121 surely it testified against Israel section 5 song and poem the matter of Moses song is Examined in great detail and we are reminded that the song was meant to testify against Israel later when they transgressed the laws of God Rabbi Shimon clarifies which is the most valuable and important song ever written since the discussion has also included the song of songs and the song that David sang towards the end of his life the purpose of the song is to connect everyone to God and to unify his name 25 we learned that Rabbi Lazar said regarding the verse and Moses spoke words of this poem until they were ended Devarim 3130 we have to observe here the meaning of the words of it should have said the poem and what is until they were ended and the answers we have so learned according to the secret of the mission all the words Moses spoke were engraved with the name of the Holy One blessed be he and all these words were coming going up and down engraved there with the name of the Holy One blessed be he each word would come before Moses to be engraved by him and stood before him that is it is written the words of this poem because each word would come before him to be engraved this is the meaning of until they were ended that is until they finished being engraved with the name of Hashem 26 Rabbi Abba said the words of this poem he asks it should have said a poem and not the poem what does the definite article hey to and he answers it is the poem the holy one blessed be he recited as in the song of songs which is Solomon's Heb Shlomo Sher Hashirim 11 who is the king that the peace Heb Shalom is his who is the holy one blessed be he we have already explained this matter a psalm a song for the Shabbat day Tehillim 921 precisely for the Shabbat day which is Malchut a song the holy one blessed be he recited for the Shabbat day which is Malchut 27 yet we should examine this there it says a song Heb Shir while there a poem Heb Shir is masculine Z E I R N and Shir is feminine Malchut we learned that all the prophets in relation to Moses are like a monkey in the sight of men. They said, Sure, that is the song of songs, a song for the Shabbat day, while Moses recited Shira and they are Shira. The esoteric meaning is that Moses did not say it for himself, but for the sake of Israel. 28 Rabbi Shimon said to him, This is not so, but it is known from here that Moses was of a much higher grade than all of them. Moses rose from below upward, and they descended from above downward. He, Moses, rose from below upwards. As we learned that we increase in holiness, not decrease. Moses rose from below upwards by reciting a Shira, which is the praise of the queen with which she praises the king. He started with Malchut, and Moses himself joined the king, so his Shira rose from below upwards, but they descended from above downward as they recited a Shira, which is the aspect of the male, which is the praise with which the king praises the queen. They joined the queen, so their Shira was from above downwards. From Zeir and to Malchut, this praise of Moses was made known, which is above them all. This
3,121 and 4 I know that after my death of 29 when you shall do that forthwith this poem shall testify against them as a witness which means that Malchut shall punish you 30 come and see it is written the heaven shall reveal his iniquity EO 2027 which is ZERN and that is called heaven and no more revealing the iniquity alone but the earth shall rise up against him by this the earth which is Malchut judgment is executed on whomever it is executed 31 it is written and David spoke to Hashem the words of the song Hebshira 2 Shmuel 221 it is to David's praise because he recited the Shira from below upward from Malchut to ZERN and like Moses entertained that great of reciting Shira from below upward he said the Shira only at the end of his days when he was exceedingly perfected by the Shira as we learn do not believe in yourself until the day you die and here why did David merit to say a Shira from below upward at the end of his days it is because he was then at rest in every respect as written in the day that Hashem delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies. Ibid 32 Rabbi Shimon said Shira is the most valuable what is it and he answers it is according to what we learned in the secret of the mission that service should be in speech and action in the two declarations of unity from below upward and from above downward here also it is from below upward and from above downward then one is to meditate in the heart and bind everything into one bond section 6 because I will call on the name of Hashem ascribe greatness to our Elohim Rabbi Shimon tells us that people have to arrange their praise to God in a certain way so that the glory can be raised upward and the blessings can be drawn downward then they need to create the bond of faith in order to unify the holy name 33 once do we know that from Moses at first he spoke from below upward saying because I will call on it. Name of Hashem Debarim 323 what is called it is as in called to Moses Vayikra 11 which is the Shechanah and he said ascribe greatness to our Elohim which is the supernal king namely Zeir and then he descended the grades from above downward from Zeir and to Malchut as written just and right is he Debarim 324 which are Yezid that is called righteous and just that is Malchut then he bound the bond of faith and said is he namely just and right is he which binds everything because he is the third hidden person that alludes to the blessed infinity that binds everything 34 for that reason man needs to arrange his master's praise in the same way at first from below upward to raise the glory of his master which is Malchut to the place where the water of the depth of the well flows and emerges that is to the place of Bina then to draw from above downward to each and every grade of the seven lords Farah down to the last grade which is Malchut in order to draw blessings to everything from above downward then we need to bind the bond on everything the bond of faith that is to bind everything to blessed infinity as mentioned such a man glorifies his master to unify the holy name hence it is written for them that honor me I will honor I Shmuel 230 for those who honor me in this world shall I honor in the world to come 35 and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed but he asks what is meant by and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed and answers this is one who does not know how to unify the holy name and bind the bond of faith and draw blessings where they should be and glorify the name of his master whoever does not know how to glorify the name of his master it would have been better for him had he not been created section 7 answering amen rabbi Yehuda says that the person who says amen is even greater than the person who makes the blessing because the amen draws blessings from it Fountain of Bina there follows a long discussion of the importance of the Amen 36 Rabbi Yehuda said and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed I Shmuel 230 refers to he who does not know how to glorify his master and does not concentrate when saying Amen for we learned that he who answers Amen is more valuable than he who makes the blessings we have presented it before Rabbi Shimon who said that he who answers Amen draws blessings from the spring who is binded to the king Zeir and from the king to the queen in the engraved letters by Rabbi Lazar he said from Aleph of Amen which is binded to Mem of Amen which is Zeir and from Mem of Amen to final none which is Malchut when the blessings reach final none which is Malchut blessings come out from there to the upper and lower beings and expand through everything when the sound comes out they drink of the blessing so and so has brought forth the servant of the holy king finite 37 when Yisrael below guard themselves to answer amen and meditate in their heart as needs be how many openings of blessings are open above how much goodness is present throughout the world how much joy abounds in everything what is the reward of Israel to have brought this about their reward is in this world and in the world to come in this world when they are beset by enemies and they say their prayer before their master the sound proclaims throughout the world's open the gates that the righteous nation that keeps faithfulness have immunum may enter in Yeshua 262 do not pronounce it immunum but amen amen plural which means that they are careful to answer amen open the gates as Israel open to them the gates of blessing so now open the gates and let their prayer be accepted which is about those who distress them 38 this is their reward in this world what is their reward in the world to come and he answers it is when a man leaves this world where he observed answering amen by observed is meant that he observes the blessing that is said and awaits the man who says it so as to answer Amen after it as needs be then his soul rises and proclaims before him open the gates before him as he used to open gates every day when he observed Aminum that is Aminum 39 Rabbi Yossi said what is Amen Rabbi Abba said everything has been explained Amen is called the spring of the flowing river which is Bun and is called Amen because it is written that I was by him as a nursling have Amon. Mishle 830 do not pronounce it Amon but Amen the sustenance of all the grades namely that river that emerges and flows which is Bun is called Amen as we have learned from everlasting to everlasting lit world to world. Tehillim 10648 means from the world above which is Bun to the world below which is Malchut here to Amen and Amen is Amen of above which is Bun Amen of below which is Malchut Amen means sustenance for everyone we have already explained Amen according to its letters. 40 Rabbi Shimon said Aleph of Amen is the depth of the well once all the blessings flow and come out and exist open Mem is the river that emerges and flows which is Yezid and is called Mem this is the meaning of what we learned that open Mem is Yezid closed final Mem is bind as we established by the verse for the increase headlimar bespelled with final Mem of the realm Yeshaya 9641 extended final none comprises both nuns extended none and bet none which means it includes in itself the Nukba of Zeir and Ben as well called bet none extended final none comprises the letter Bob because it includes within it the male as well which is the letter Bob which is Zeir and Ben for extended final none is expanded including both male and female which are Zeir and Ben that is Bob and Malchut that is none for that reason everything together is called none Bob final none we have learned it according to the secret of the mission of Bob is masculine extended final none is both masculine and feminine bent. None is comprised in extended final none in the book of Rabham none is the MEM here in Amen is the initial of Malek and King namely Amen Amen is the initials of El Malek and Yaman and El faithful king which comprises everything it is good and we have already learned that 42 we learned that whoever heard a blessing someone made but did not meditate in his heart on the Amen of him it says and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed as in to you O priest who despise my name. Malachi 16 what is his punishment just as he did not make an opening for blessings above no blessings are open for him moreover when he comes out of this world the proclamation resounds before him saying close the gates before so and so so he may not enter do not accept him woe to him woe to his soul section 8 the openings of the garden of Eden and the openings of Gehenna we learn about the fate of those who do not say Amen with their whole heart it is said that there is a corresponding opening for each gate in the Garden of Eden to a gate in Gehenna. The lowest chamber of Gehenna is described as hell and destruction, and those who enter there never rise again but are lost from all the worlds to this place. It is said that those who are contemptuous of the Amen are sent. 43 We learned that the wicked in Gehenna all go up through certain compartments, and that there are many openings to Gehenna. All the openings correspond to the openings in the Garden of Eden. When the wicked are taken out after receiving their punishments, they open the gates and put them outside. All the gates bear names corresponding to those in the Garden of Eden, and each and every gate in the Garden of Eden is called by a name corresponding to the respective gate in Gehenna. The gates in the Garden of Eden are known gate for gate, which means upon seeing the kind of gate in Gehenna, one is able to know through it the opposing gate in the Garden of Eden what kind of gate it is. 44 The last compartment in Gehenna is the lowest that compartment is double in compartment over in compartment and is called the land of
Lost to him that he did not consider and he is lowered to the lowest compartment which has no opening and he is lost and never rises from there hence it is written as the cloud is consumed and vanishes away so he who goes down to Sheol shall come up no more. Yod 79 he asks but no it is written out of the belly of Sheol I cried and you did hear Yonah 23 and he rose from there it is also written he brings down to Sheol and brings up Ishmael 26 and he answers but this is Sheol from which one ascends and there is the bottom from where one does not rise we explained that this refers to one who repented by doing penance and there to one who did not 46 Rabbi Yossi said as for the words for my people have committed two evils they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters and have hewn them out cisterns Yermeah 213 they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters is by not wanting to sanctify the name of the Holy One blessed be he with amen what is his punishment it is as is written and have hewn them out cisterns broken cisterns by going to Gehenna on one level after another until they reach Abaddon that is called bottom if he sanctifies the name of the Holy One blessed be he by meditating properly on amen he rises level after level to have delight in the world to come that ever flows and does not cease this is the meaning of for Hashem preserves the faithful and plentifully repays him who acts haughtily Tehillim 3124 section 9 the song of the well we learned that song draws blessings from above downward until they are available in all the worlds and that the children of Israel are destined to proclaim the song both from below upward and from above downward in this way they will connect the bond of faith and trust and at the time of redemption they will say the entire perfect song that is composed of and includes all other songs and God will be proclaimed the only God 47 we learned that Chiralit poem draws blessings from above downward until there are blessings throughout the worlds Rabbi Lazar said Israel will recite a poem from below upward and from above downward and to bind the bond of faith as written then Israel sang Lit will sing the song had Chira Gimid bar 2117 it speaks in the future tense rather than in the past and so is everything the same way in the future tense the Chira is from below upward because Chira is in Malchut that sings upwards to Z E I R and spring up O well. Sing to it if it spring up a well namely they spoke to Malchut call the well rise to your place to join your husband Zeir and this is from below upward raising Malchut to Zeir and 48 afterwards they draw from above downward the well that the princes dug out of 18 the well I as Malchut the princes dug out as Abba and I am got her because Abba and I am formed Malchut according to the secret of the side which Hashem Elohim had taken Bershi 222 the nobles of the people dealt. The Midbar 2118 are the patriarchs namely Chesed Bira and Tiferet of Zeir and called the nobles of the people they dealt it namely they dealt the place for the king to unite with her with blessings with what through union with the scepter Ibid refers to Yezid with their staves Ibid refers to Netzash and Hadav to here is from above downward from the wilderness Ibid 19 which is Malchut called speech to Matna Ibid it rises to Yezid called Matna and from Matna it rises to Nahalil. Which is Tiferet and from Nahalil to Bamadibid, which is Abba and Ima. This is a complete bond, the bond of faith, the bond that incorporates sustenance for everything. 49 Rabbi Yossi said Israel will recite a complete poem, a poem including all other songs. This is the meaning of O give thanks to Hashem, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Tehillim 1051 of that time it is written on that day Hashem shall be one and his name one. Zachary 149 and then was our mouth. Filled with laughter and our tongue with singing, then they said among the nations, Hashem has done great things for them. Tehillim 1262 Blessed be Hashem forever and ever. Amen and Amen. May Hashem reign forever and ever. Amen and Amen.